Hey guys, today I just wanted to show you that the Iris keypad from Lowe's, which is $40, does indeed also work with SmartThings, but it does require you to, to do some additional things, uh, such as installing your own custom hardware type and installing a custom um, smart app. Both of those you have to do through the IDE, so if you're not comfortable with doing either of those things, then this is not the right uh, product for you. I just want to show you that it is possible. So you can see that when I swipe my hand over the iris, it shows the iris logo is red, telling me that the security is armed. I can go ahead and put in my key code, and then I'm going to go ahead and press off, which will put it into disarmed mode. And you can see that my smart home monitor on SmartThings does update. And now if I was to wave my hand over, you see the iris is green, um, indicating that it's disarmed, and you can set this back and forth. Uh, I'm going to link to the forum post where I learned how to do this, where I got the code for the um, the smart for the hardware device type as well as for the smart app. I want to thank the developers who worked on both of those just immensely for their hard work and effort. I would also like to give a special th uh, thank you to Drake0508, who uh, or his name is Steven, in the uh, forum for being an awesome guy and helping me out when I had some trouble with this. Uh, this is the second time I've installed this keypad. Both times, uh, what I had to do was I had to do a factory reset on the keypad. Um, obviously, I had to install the custom device type and the smart app. And then, I cannot explain this, I have no idea why, but after you set up the iris with your device type and smart app, leave it alone for like 15 minutes. If you just leave it alone for 15 minutes after setting everything up and then you go back 15 minutes later, it seems to work. For whatever reason, the first 15 minutes things seem to be a little wonky. Uh, but right here is the app that you want to install, the 3400 um, keypad uh, manager. Um, again, you install that through the IDE uh, of SmartThings and then you can install it on your phone. Um, here is the app actually on the phone. You can see I've set the pin code to 1234, which obviously I'm not keeping it. That way I'm going to change it. Uh, you can set different routines, and that's how you turn on and off the alarm. You could also use this for other things. Like, you can make this open your garage door if you put in the right uh, combo if you wanted. So, uh, really a lot of different things you could do. I have this set up with Smart Alarm so that there's a delay so that I can leave my house within 30 seconds or enter my house within 30 seconds without setting off the alarm. Um, but anyways, for 40 bucks, this is great if you're willing to take the time and uh, tweak it to get it to work with smart things. Um, but do to note that uh, there is some risk in that. I can't guarantee this will work for you, so do keep your receipt. If you have problems, feel free to return it. Um, here's the finished product. This is it mounted on my wall. I just have it mounted with tape, and you can easily remove it from the back and put it in. Um, but it's been great. I've really enjoyed it, and uh, a nice addition to smart things.